Hello, Spirit Uncensored friends and family. It is Reverend Karen Frost checking in on the hashtag best day ever movement. And as I speak, I literally just walked away from this news story about how um, it's they this the name of this group of people are being called protesters. But at this point, after the Capitol has been seized and Mike Pence has been rushed to safety and the city of Washington, D.C. is on lockdown. I don't think we can call this a protest. I think we can genuinely call the actions that were taken by this gr very large group of people in, in Washington, D.C. today as an act of terrorism. However, I will note that I feel as if it is quite unlikely that the words terrorism is going to be used for this group of people. We generally in this country do not use the word terrorism to describe the acts of white people. And I genuinely believe that if this had been a group of people of color, these circumstances would have been very different. There would have been no seizing of the Capitol. There would probably be a lot of violence. And I feel like the demonstration that took place today that escalated to where it has escalated to is a true demonstration of how white supremacy is active and real in America today. And I think that the words of the president, the, the chance that the, the fact that our president has chosen not to peacefully step down, regardless of the fact that there is no evidence of any sort of election fraud, that he lost this election fair and square, I feel as if there's been a lot of inciting language on Twitter and over the course of the last few months to really delegitimize this election. So there's clearly a lot of healing work ahead for us. And that does not change anything about the fact that today is the best day ever. There are acts of terrorism taking place on the planet pretty much literally every day, not necessarily in our backyard, but there is there is an act of terrorism occurring every day. And hey, heavy bag lady, we can be someone, we can be people who choose to be weighed down by the events of the world, or we can be people who walk from a place of lightness, who choose to live by example, to serve by example as the change that we wish to see in the world, choosing to respond to conflict in our own lives from a place of nonviolence so that we are creating an atmosphere and an energy of peace on the planet, choosing to be people who are advocating for peace. I just happened to be wearing my Freedom Black Lives Matter shirt today. I had nothing to do. It was actually kind of because of Georgia. I'm definitely quite proud of the work that Stacey Abrams br brought to ensuring the right to vote for all people in Atlanta. Hey, Preciosa. Um, and so I, I put the shirt on in celebration of that, but had no idea that the events would escalate in DC in the way that they have. And so I'm grateful for myself, for the, for the healing work that I have been doing around the fact that we are, I believe, currently living in an experience of white supremacy, that the country that we are a part of, white is considered the norm. As I said, we, we generally do not use the word terrorist to describe white people, the actions of white people. The same actions could be done by a person of color, and we use the, ter the word terrorist up and down the street, but I rarely see that word used for white people. Um, and I, I have recognized that in the conversation that we've been having race around race in this country, I have recognized an opportunity for my own healing. And so just yesterday, I started a book study for my grandmother's hands through the Centers for Spiritual Living that is about healing trauma of white supremacy within our bodies for people of all colors. This group in particular is for people of color. This book study is for people of color, but the book is written for everyone. And so I'm grateful to be doing this healing work within the safe space of a spiritual center, a spiritual community that is supporting me in this healing work. And also one of the very many reasons why I'm doing this is because I am actively creating spaces for other people to participate in healing work. On top of the fact that through the Ahaya Center for Spiritual Spiritual living. I have been in, involved on the leadership team where we are, we have a event called Building the Beloved Community on Martin Luther King Day, which is around this, this context of ensuring that Ahaya is a safe space for all people. Um, but also my mother and I are leading a book study on the book, The Miseducation of the Negro by Carter G. Woodson. It is a nine week book study. It is, um, $100 for all nine weeks or $15 drop in 
through Ahaya. Um, feel free to join. Information is on the Ahaya website. And I've been doing this healing work so that I can be the best person that I can be in these contexts of teaching these classes like the miseducation of the Negro and make sure that I am spiritually and emotionally prepared to, to lead the safe space for other people to heal as well. So I'm grateful that in this day with everything that is happening today that I am doing my own work and speak briefly. Uh, wrote a comment, amen, amen to this. My family just called the men inside the Capitol protesters. I said, no, let's call them what they are, terrorists. So that's what I'm talking about. I love that we're on the same page. Um, so like I said, this is, I still believe, I am living and enjoying this day. I am experiencing the best day ever. And I would love to hear your stories about how you are leaning into this quality of recognizing that today is the best day ever, regardless of what is happening in the world right now. This is a decision that we have to make time and time again to live from this intention of allowing each day to be the best day ever. Being vocal, telling our truth, looking at what is in front of us while at the same time seeing the fact that what is happening is that together as a nation, we are healing our experience of white supremacy. And when we do this work individually, we are choosing to show up as the change that we wish to see in the world. So I'm grateful for everyone who is participating in, the, in this movement. I would love to see your thoughts. Feel free to drop notes in the comments, DM me with, with comments, questions about this movement, and would love to see your stories. Share your stories on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, though I'm not on TikTok, um, using the hashtag best day ever movement to get the word out and inspire each day, each person to live their day from this intention. Have the best day ever. Namaste.